In our morning rounds, fiber and your heart, if you've ever had a heart attack. A new Harvard study finds eating more fiber, especially from cereal, cuts the risk of dying from heart disease or stroke by 35%. Our, one of our favorite doctors is Dr. Tara Narula. She's Associate Director of the Cardiac Care Unit, unit at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York, and she joins us at the table. I want to know specifically first what kind of cereal, and please tell me that Frosted Flakes and Honey Nut Cheerios <laughs> are on the list that we need to be eating. So whole grain cereal, at least in oh. this study, seemed to have the highest benefit. But no, you can talk about oats, barley, anything that's got bran or whole wheat in it. Those are all great options. Mm -hmm. Why is fiber good? We always hear fiber is good for moving one's bowels and your digestion. <laughs> And we get that. Right. But why is it good for your heart? Yeah, it's specifically. not just for the colon. Yes. So <laughs> for the heart, it can do a couple things. It can help lower your blood pressure. It can lower your LDL, which is the bad cholesterol. Mm -hmm. yeah. It can generally decrease inflammation. It helps modulate your blood sugar, so your less tendency to develop diabetes. And it also makes you feel full quicker mm -hmm. and stay full longer, so you tend to eat less, which helps you manage your weight. Got it. This and they're better if they don't have much sugar. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, this is a fascinating study that after they had the heart attack, mm -hmm. if they ate high fiber, that they were less likely to die. How do they know it was fiber that was the trick? We don't really know. This is another one of those studies where we can't definitively say it's the fiber that caused the decreased mortality. We see an association there. There were some limitations to the study, namely people had to self-report how much fiber they ate in the prior year. So if they forgot or they didn't report it accurately, that could affect the results. We also don't know if the people who ate more fiber made other healthy lifestyle choices that could have influenced the outcome. And so, you know, there's, there's limitations like that. The strengths of the study are that it was a, a large population, a large sample size, and it was for about an average of nine years. So it's a long study. But you're a cardiologist. You also think probably that fiber could help prevent heart yeah, attacks, right? Awesome. Definitely. But I think the key point, and we always try to emphasize this, is it's not just one thing. It's not just medications. It's not just fiber. It would be great if it, fiber has this effect because it's easy to get into your diet and it makes sense to people. But the big thing is lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, Dean Ornish had this quote where, you know, we spend so much time mopping up the floor if the sink is overflowing, but we don't turn off the faucet. Yeah. Yeah. And that's such a great it's way a for people visual. to understand you have to start where the problem starts. Which is what you put in your body. Which is what you put in your body, which is what you do to your body in terms of exercising. Yeah, so people need to stop smoking, <clears throat> moderate alcohol, moderate stress, and control their diet in general. Love your body. Yes. Treat it well. Love your body. You only <laughs> Love got your body. one. That's right. You only got one. And others. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We'll talk about that later. What that yeah. I'll, I'll tell you I was wondering what that meant too. What I said love mean? your body and love other bodies. Oh, That's what oh, I meant to oh, say. Oh, okay. 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 They're Got saying it. let's go. Thank you, Dr. Terry. Thank Lula. you. Thank you.